Hey everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to another YouTube video. And today I want to talk about something that we are definitely all experiencing and that is having to do less or maybe more specifically how to be okay with doing less. With the crazy inflation we have been having for the past six months or even longer at this point, everybody is feeling it and we are all having to spread our money a little bit tighter. Even as high up in the corporations as it goes, people are spending less money and that means no matter what income bracket you are at, odds are you have less money coming in and that means you have less money for all of the fun stuff in life. But just because you have less money for all the fun stuff doesn't mean you can't also be happy and still get to do some of the things that you absolutely love. So today I want to share a few tips on how to be okay with doing less. First up, give yourself some fun money. Now this may sound a little counterintuitive, but you absolutely need to give yourself a little bit of fun money no matter how tight your finances are. If you end up giving yourself absolutely no wiggle room for any kind of enjoyment or frivolous spending in your budget, this is only not going to be not sustainable in the slightest, but you're also not going to be able to create a happy and well-balanced life, and so it's going to affect you in many other ways. You have to make sure to give yourself a little bit of money each week, even if it isn't that much. I myself have been experimenting over the last month with restricting the amount of fun money that I have to a set amount each week, and that has personally made my life a lot better because I was somebody who was addicted to a lot of frivolous spending. And I think this came at the right time because as I started to restrict the amount of fun money in our budget, I noticed that everything was starting to get even more expensive and our money was getting even tighter. So I am fortunate that I made this change when I did because as hard as it has been, it has been nice knowing that I'm going to get that little bit of money every single week, even if it's not enough for all the things that I wanted to do. The only positive thing about not being able to do all the things you wanted to do is that the things you are able to do off that list are going to be much more enjoyable because you are going to value them more. Next up, you should make a list of all of the free or near free things that you enjoy doing. There are plenty of things in our lives that we enjoy that don't require hardly any or any monetary incentive at all. Some of those things can involve walking or hiking if you are an outdoorsy person, or if you are more of an inside type person, maybe you have a backlog of video games that you just haven't quite gotten around to playing yet, or maybe you have your favorite streaming service and there is a list of things you have been dying to get to but never have found the time. These are things that you can do almost on any budget and they don't end up taking much of your fun money at all. It's important to focus on these things that aren't going to cost you almost nothing because they will help you get through these periods where you are feeling like you cannot spend anything because you have already allocated what fun money you have to the things that are coming up. Next up, you need to remind yourself that this isn't going to be forever. For almost everybody, regardless of the situation of why your finances are tight, maybe you just had a new child and you are trying to pay for all of the beginning childcare expenses, or maybe you just lost your job or had to quit a job due to being in an unsafe work environment, whatever the case may be, just because you have a little bit less money right now doesn't mean you're going to always have less money. The best and worst thing about life is that it is always changing. So you could be rest assured that your financial situation will be different a few years from now than it is currently. Although it may be hard to focus on the future, especially when you are in a point in your life when things are not going as well as you had hoped, it's important to remember that eventually things will change and things will be better at another point in your life. There will be a point in your life when you have more money to allocate towards the things that you want to do, and there may come a time when you are able to check absolutely everything off that list of the amazing summer that you absolutely wanted to have. The final and quite possibly most important tip on here is to lean on those around you. I myself have had to cancel not one, not two, but three shows that I was going to go to over the summer. And as sad as it has made me and as bummed as I am from not going to those shows and feeling severe FOMO, I know that I, at the end of the day, I had to pick between certain shows that I was going to because I was not going to be able to make all of them. And so as hard as it was, I had to make the difficult choice with what shows to go to. And I feel okay knowing that at least I'm going to be able to go to some of them. I'm grateful for the shows I'm going to now. And I know that once I get more money in my fun money category, 
I will be going to lots more. Almost everybody in the world wants more than what they currently have, and part of that is great because it allows us to keep the drive going and allows us to push forward to hopefully reach those heights of what we want. But we all need to be realistic and realize that we cannot get absolutely everything we want. And by talking to other people about your disappointments with how your life is going currently, may help you realize that you are going to be able to get out of this eventually. And hearing other people's struggles will make you feel hopefully a little bit better about what you are currently going through. It's always great when you tell somebody about something you are struggling with and they tell you that it's gonna be okay and that they totally understand and give you an example of how their life is going the exact same way and it makes you feel less alone, which even if you cannot fix the current situation you are in, will definitely help make you feel better. So those are all the tips I had about being okay with doing less. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a like as it really helps this channel grow and spread around YouTube. I would love to hear down in the comment section below some tips that you have about being okay with doing less. And last but not least, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you can be alerted every single time I upload a new video, whether it's about the finance or fun stuff side of this channel. Thank you all so much for watching and take care.